In the wake of Hurricane Maria's destruction, Puerto Rico is asking the Trump administration to relax a 100-year-old law to speed up recovery from the storm. But advocates on both sides of the issue say the outcome stretches far beyond the island. I think it would be big. Shipyard industry impacts every congressional district in the United States. The Jones Act requires all ships that sail between U.S. ports to be built, owned, and operated by American companies. Puerto Rico's governor says the island needs more natural gas and other supplies. He says the Jones Act restrictions are costing Puerto Rico's recovery effort time and money. Colin Graybow with the Cato Institute says for the rest of us, the Jones Act restrictions drive up the price of consumer products and U.S. exports. Cheaper foreign flag ships, cheaper transporting costs, cheaper goods. But American shipbuilders say the Jones Act protects hundreds of thousands of U.S. jobs. From Mobile to New Orleans to Lockport, these are shipyards that are economic engines in these communities. Without the Jones Act, Mac Paxton, president of the Shipbuilders Council of America, says the jobs will be exported overseas. A group of Gulf state lawmakers agree. They recently signed on to a bipartisan letter urging the Trump administration to deny Puerto Rico's request. Now the shipping law has become a campaign issue. This week, a coalition of 30 activist groups calling themselves Power for Puerto Rico wrote an open letter to 2020 presidential candidates. Among other requests, it asked the candidates to pledge their support for the Jones Act exemption to help Puerto Rico. In Washington, I'm Drew Petromo.